Lexington, Virginia is known more for its Southern history and universities than anything else. But ask any of its many artisans and they'll tell you about a different Lexington. I've heard people say over the years that Lexington lives large for a small town. You can find anything from wine to beer to coffee made in Lexington. And every week some businesses have tastings for their products. Owner of Lexington Coffee Roasters, Melissa Shaw, has coffee tastings every Friday. It's turned out to be so popular and, and so many people tell us they want to be able to come. So later in the spring, um, we're planning on expanding those hours. Right after the coffee tasting, the Washington Street Purveyor starts its wine tasting. Part owner Chuck Smith has had these since 1996. Yeah, there's been an impact at a, at a certain level. I think it's also a, you know, a cooperative event, especially on, on First Fridays when all the art galleries are opening. Blue Lab Brewery recently joined Lexington's growing artisan community. Three days a week, beer lovers can walk in and try its different brews. We definitely have a lot of repeat customers that come in. We're starting to get a lot of folks from Roanoke, from Richmond, uh, that are heard about us, that are coming in just to sample. These weekly tastings don't only give residents a chance to learn more about locally made products, but also a place to socialize and enjoy the camaraderie of others. The popularity of the tastings hint that Lexington is much more than a historic place. It is also a hub for arts and culture. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Papo Osei.